How long does it take to get a green card appointment via consular processing after one's I-140 is approved? You gotta go through the National Visa Center, but assuming the priority date's a card, maybe six, seven, eight months. So my question is, remember last time when I told you that I filed an I- Do I remember? Well, that's what they said. Okay, They're I asking. will remember. Yes, I do remember. Filed an I- Is there an I-90? The 990 to replace the green card, yes. Okay, so I-90, okay. I already did my fingerprints. So now the question is, can I go and get a stamp on my passport now to travel or go, go to make a appointment? Go get a stamp to travel. Go get a stamp to travel. Okay. When you, when you do your fingerprints, they should stamp your passport, actually. Okay. So everybody gets their passport stamp when you do the fingerprints. Awesome. All right, Brandon White saying my I-130 hasn't been approved. The letter said that they'll get back to me within 30 days. After 30 days is up, how long will a visa be available? So my dad filed for me he's a u.s citizen living in jamaica my dad got the letter december 5th 2019 and like i said said the i-130 was approved got a letter yes i-130 was approved when i i need to know more information how I, old are you are you single you married oh yes what a lot letter, what letter are you referring to how old you are my question is if my country permits me to do work from home wfh can i work from home under an h4 visa getting indian salary after traveling to the usa is it legal to do a wfh from the u.s earning indian salary under h4 or should they travel under leave of absent only what other you options can't, are you there? can't be employed in the united states of america i don't fully understand he wants to be in the united states work in the united states and be paid by an international company that's still working in the United States. Mm -hmm. Any way you look at it, doesn't matter who, 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 who pays you, it's, you're working in the US. Okay, Joy saying, what if I uh, still have a pending adjustment of status, but my baby uh, has food stamps? They denied my application for the food stamps, but approved my baby. Does it affect my pending status? Denied your adjustment of status? If they denied your adjustment of status, yeah, your status it's, it's is affected. They, they, I, it says they denied my application for the food stamps, but they approved my baby. Yes, because you're not entitled to food stamps. Only a U.S. citizen would be. You wouldn't be. And if you applied for food stamps, yes, that will affect your adjustment status. Ryan Tracy is saying, how long should uh, you give USCIS to respond to I-130 visa petition for out-of-country spouse? The website suggests current wait times for the U.S. citizen husband, which is that person filing for the I-130 for my Cambodian wife via California application processing time is about eight to nine months. Yeah, most is 12 months, but hopefully it's eight to nine months. Uh, Kathy's asking for a friend. If someone is caught with a 56 grams of marijuana, will that prevent them from ever getting a green card? Or is, it, uh, is there any waiver if that person can eventually use to help them? If you're found guilty of that, you will never get a green card. Oscar saying, hey, Sensei Brad. Yes. <laughs> I have an aunt that has never been to the U.S. undocumented. She has two daughters with her LPR husband. However, he is extremely ill right now. What type of options do you have uh, for them to come to the USA? They're from Mexico. What, the option to do what? Uh, bring them here. Uh, to, their husband, her care? husband. Uh, I, it seems to, I, to you're move. You're, I don't know. I don't know. Are you a U.S. citizen? Who is this today? The husband is an LPR. And it's for their aunt, Oscar's aunt. Her oh. husband is an LPR and he's very ill. So he has a green card. So what's the problem? Uh, she has two daughters with her LPR husband. So how can they get here? The daughters are over 21, under 21? We don't know that. All I can tell you is paint the fence and give me more information. Okay, Angie Love right. saying, I'm so, so thrilled and super excited to hear Brad talk about the orange man and help people with immigration questions. Thank you. So that's the statement. The, the, basically, <laughs> you've just described the entire show. Yes. That, Brad, that's, Brad says hello to me. He talks about an orange man and, and helps people with immigration. There you go. And then he says goodbye. Yes. That's basically, <laughs> if, if anyone needed to describe the show, I think you've basically succinctly thank you, said it. Thank you, Angie you love right. all right Tootie saying what is the poverty level for a single individual to sponsor an applicant the person who wants to sponsor my husband according to the guidelines but email from uh, embassy says they don't if you remember I said it's a two pro two-step process now one is you got to be a hundred twenty five percent above the poverty level mm -hmm. and then number two is you got to do that positive negative balancing act. all right Earl saying uh, my question is there uh, is there still renewal of EAD card and how long does it take to file six months for the application of your current EAD card you do it four months beforehand you're allowed 180 days beyond the expiration of your work permit to work legally 
if you have a pending work permit renewal. Can USCIS website give you wrong information on your AOS? It's been almost one month since the day they scheduled an interview, never got a letter and updated to no show interview. Well, if that letter was supposed to come on Friday the 13th. Nope, she's dead. She is she's dead. Gone. Yeah. All right, so what is the question now? <laughs> so, uh, oh, she's back. <laughs> Whoa, oh, she's <laughs> making, me. oh, she's making they up. She's me. making she up for up. lost time. <laughs> they, they, they took the gag out of Yeah, her mouth. right. <laughs> <laughs> that means that this is good for her. Yeah, she, they, she, she got the gag yeah. off. <laughs> she's uh, maybe escaping from Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so can USCIS website give you a wrong information on AOS? It's been almost one month since the day the schedule. Yeah, the, the website interview. gives wrong information all the time. Can I have my documents right in front of me during the sec uh, since of course the you can. interview and to the help way, them rem remember stuff. And by the stuff. way, Oscar Cruz says, hi, Sensei. I just want to get back. Uh, my aunt's husband is extremely ill, dying. His daughters are under 21. The answer is yes, they should be able to come here. Let him file for the children or their following to join, but we can certainly help. And obviously, we don't want anyone to pass away, and right. let's get this done fast. So you can actually have your documents in front of you to help you remember stuff during the citizenship interview? One second. Those are two different things. You can't have a cheat sheet in front of you. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So That's when, when, when that. someone says documents to me, it's like, can I have my green card in front no, of me? No, to help me remember no, stuff. No, you can't That's have a cheat sheet in front of you. That's what I was saying. No. Like, what? You could do that? No. I was about to say. That's a new yes. one. I didn't know about that. <laughs> no, well, you do you, if you, you the documents to me means no she but then i i also said to help me remember stuff i didn't well yeah to help <laughs> me remember when i got my green card to help me remember oh, okay not, that you yes, can't yes, but, but do you need that for your citizenship interview yeah, if they ask you when did you get your green card let me look i don't remember oh, okay date. but not like how First many right, right right how many uh no yeah, I, it's gosh. not like i have a history book in front of me okay no, no yeah all right mile seven saying please if immigration said they will reschedule your interview how long will it take for them to send another interview letter i have no idea yeah. I came to the U.S. with a K-1 visa. My case is ready for a green card interview. But me and my wife got in trouble or got trouble between us. If she shows up to the interview, then talks badly, can I get in trouble? We have a son together. Of course you can get in trouble. She could say a lot of things. Right? Yeah. She could come in and say, this man married me for a green card. He yeah. paid me $10,000. He raped me and that's why we have a son together. I mean, mm -hmm. she could say almost anything. Why do you think that she can't lie so what, on you? People can lie on you all the time. What should I, they do? I think he needs to come and discuss what his options are. All but right. this question is, can someone go in and lie? People can go and lie all day long. All day long. All right, last one for now is Adesumbo saying, thank you for your great show. I just want to know, how soon can someone who came into the U.S. with an immigrant uh, visa travel outside the U.S.? The next day. And how long can one stay outside Not more the than US? six months. It's a green card. There you go. So Thanks for watching. For more Brad Show Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.